H&R Block provides easy to use tax filing software to help you file your tax return. And this year I am so excited to get inside of the tax software. That sounds kind of weird, but I saw some improvements that H&R Block made for 2023. So you wanna stick around in this video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Justine with the College Investor, investing and personal finance for millennials. H&R Block continues to be a front runner in tax software that we review over the years. It constantly makes improvements. It has easy to use language, Q&A guidance, and it makes uploading certain tax forms really easy. Now, it is the runner up in our best tax software list. You'll definitely wanna check that out. Using the link below, we have so many thorough tax software walkthroughs and reviews, but let's get into H&R Block. Is H&R Block truly free? So H&R Block offers federal and state tax filing free for a specific user. You'll wanna make sure that you have very simple filing situations in order to qualify. That includes if you have income from a W-2, unemployment or social security income, and then anybody who wants to claim student loan interest deductions or child tax credits. But if you have dependent care expenses or you have something like a health savings account that does not qualify for the free filing, you'd have to upgrade to the deluxe edition. Now, speaking of deluxe and other pricing tiers, let's talk about their pricing. Okay, so we're on the H&R Block page and you'll see they have four options. Most of the tax software that I've seen out there so far have it broken down into four different offerings. So there's the free version, which I mentioned before, that the simple returns, if you have the unemployment income, W-2, social security, that all applies for truly free and free for the state filing. There's no additional cost for that. Anything outside of that, you would be bumped up into deluxe or premium. If you have any outside investments or maybe you have been doing some cryptocurrency investing, you'll be bumped up into the premium version of $74.99 plus $44.99 per state filing. If you have any self-employment work, you were contracting, you had any gig work, then you get bumped up into the $114.99 plus the $44.99 per state filing. It's not cheap with H&R Block. However, if you use our link below to sign up for H&R Block and get that tax software online, you can get a 20% discount just by using our link below. We will leave that for you so that you can get an even better deal. By the way, as we've seen promotions in the past from directly from the tax software companies themselves, it only increases as it gets closer to that filing date. So you wanna make sure that you lock in the lowest price, which is why the college investor offers a 20% discount for those wanting to file with H&R Block. So what's new in 2023 for H&R Block? Well, like most tax software, H&R Block met the needs of new and evolving tax situations that happened over this past year. You might come across questions about the student loan forgiveness plan or 1099K forms for gig workers, and even some questions revolving around that COVID-19 stimulus payment. They also addressed the recovery rebate credit if you changed jobs or had a baby in 2020. 2022, you could qualify for some credits back on that. And H&R Block addresses that in their newest updates. But I think the biggest thing that feels new for 2023 is that the user interface has changed a lot. When I was going through it, and you'll see when we do the walkthrough, the buttons are bigger, the text is bigger, everything is bigger. I don't know if they're catering to an audience that just doesn't like reading fine print. Maybe got, they got some feedback on that, but wow, you cannot miss a thing because everything is very easy to read and just kind of scaled up in terms of the size of their tax software. Actually, let's go ahead and get into that walkthrough and I'll show you exactly how it works. Upon making your own account, you will be greeted in the dashboard with this big green button that says start on your taxes. And remember what I was talking about, recovery rebate credit, the child tax credit letter, this is really nice. So they have these articles here that you can reference if you have any questions on that. 
So let's go ahead and start on our taxes. Okay, so with H&R Block, you have two di different options. You can actually have a tax pro do it for you. So you could take your shoebox of all of your tax documents, send it over to one of their tax professionals and have them do it for you. That service is a lot more expensive than just filing it online. So we're gonna go through the online version here and click next. All right, so inside of the dashboard, when we start our federal return, what I like about H&R Block is that it has these nice little icons and everything has been turned into a button. <laughs> so welcome, tell us a little bit about you, choose all that applied and that happened. So let's say you had kids, you had a health savings account, some self-employment income, you want to maximize credits and deductions and gave to charity. Okay, next. And now it's going to say which pricing tier you actually fall within. But I'm, I'm surprised that they have the freelancing gig work self-employed income under deluxe because I was fairly certain that goes under the self-employed section so but we're just going to go with what they are recommending to us i'm sure that will change as we enter in some information okay all right then you're going to go through your basic information who you are where you live and then it's going to break down your federal return into several different sections and most tax software already does this automatically because this is how the irs typically looks at your return so you're going to do your basic info report all your income report all your deductions credits any other tax situations that you might have, talking about your taxes, and then the wrap up review before you actually file. Okay, once you have all of your basic info entered in, your address, your social, all of those things, now we can go through and answer some of these simple tax questions. So we were US citizens, we were not students, no one else can claim us as dependents, Okay, after that, let's get into the income section. So, so far, everything is really nicely laid out. It's a simple cue and answer guidance. There's not a whole lot of links that would maybe confuse me if I was to not have done this before. I feel like a lot of links and text on a page can get really confusing. So, so far, this is a really clean interface. Do you want to start on your W-2s? Yes. How do you want to add your W-2? Direct import, which is amazing. With your employer identification number, we can automatically sync your data in your, if your employer is a partner, simple. Great, so if you have your W-2 already in hand, you can just type in the EIN that you see listed on your W-2, and if that employer is a partner, all of that information gets automatically added into H&R Block. Alternatively, you can upload a PDF of that document, take a picture, that's amazing, or enter your info manually. Now it's gonna go into our income profile. What does Kyle do for a living? What does Justine do for a living? Did we receive, sell, exchange, or dispose of any cryptocurrency? This includes such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoin. So what if I said yes on this? I do not have any foreign accounts. Did you just earn any money? He states no. Let's go. All right. So I said that we had W-2 income and then also the cryptocurrency. So it's added it almost as like, I picked it off of a menu and now it's giving me my selections and then I can go ahead and start on those entrees. So if I clicked on a cryptocurrency and here's where they're gonna get you. <laughs> so they had suggested I would be a best fit for the deluxe tier, but because I said I had crypto, it's asking about this upgrade to the premium. 
So here we go. Continue taxes. Let's report your cryptocurrency transactions. You can reference these forms. What if I didn't receive a form? What information do I need? Okay, it's got a little help menu. Anytime I click on some of these green li links, it's going to explain that in more detail. What information do I need? So cryptocurrency transaction checklist. You'll need the service name, description of property, date uh, acquired and of sale, sale proceeds, all of that stuff. That's really cool. Simplify with Coin Tracker. We've partnered with Coin Tracker, Tracker to help you track your portfolio across digital wallets like Coinbase. Oh wow! Okay, so there are some integrations here that are really nice that would make this a lot easier for you to file your return and also report any cryptocurrency. All right, let's go next. All right, let's take a look at deductions. So if I'm looking at the deduction sections, it says, do you have any of these common deductions such as mortgage interest, state and local sales tax, a 1099 SA, that's the health savings account. Let's see more deductions. All right, and then here's a more extensive list of everything that you might want to report as part of a deduction. Charitable donations, Let's do cash donations. Let's say we contributed to Girl Scouts of America $300. Okay, then it's gonna tell you that the standard deduction is best versus an itemized deduction. So we'll click next. Here are all your adjustments and deductions we know. Okay, and then it hops over to credits. If I needed to go back because I actually didn't fill out a W-2, I could go ahead and click on start and so you can, you have the flexibility to hop around an H&R block, which I like, but what I like even better is that the interface is so clean that I don't have any questions about where I'm supposed to be or what I'm supposed to fill out. So I think what would work best for if you end up choosing H&R block to file your taxes is to have all of your tax forms put together on your desk right next to your computer or make a digital folder of all of those tax documents, those PDFs and whatnot, have everything ready to go so that you can quickly grab them, upload them into H&R Block and make sure everything is synced up correctly. So if I was to just enter this manually, Okay, I went ahead and added some fake information for a W-2 and the software was actually flagging me and saying, uh, looks like your social security uh, withholdings and your Medicare withholdings are incorrect. Are you sure that's what that said? So I just went ahead and clicked next just for the sake of this walkthrough. Just so you can see how easy it would be just to even manually enter your information into the software. But I love that it gives you multiple options to upload your W-2 form. So if I go back to, let's go back to credits. Oh, and I was just looking for where it would update me on whether or not I owed or if I was getting a refund. And so it's right here in this left hand uh, menu navigation. So if I just click it open, then you can see the federal refund, obviously this is fake, is it, $1,265. So then I can just close that up and then continue back on with my credits section. All right, let's go ahead and see if we have any credits. Looks like here I can click this blue button and then look at this list of common credits. So earned income credit, form 8880 savers credit, 
self-employed, family and sick leave, child tax credit. Let's see some of these other things. Family, let's, let's take a look at that recovery rebate credit. This is also called an econom economic stimulus payment, including any amounts you receive this year and we'll calculate any additional credit. Let's just click on this one just to see. Okay, so it's added it to our, our menu. Did you get a stimulus payment? Yes. Thanks, that's all we needed to know. Great. And you got the right amount in your stimulus payments. All right, let's see if we can add any other credits here. See more credits. Very cool. I love how clean this is and they have the drop down menus. It's the small things like that that I think can really help people or really hurt people. Because imagine if all these drop down menus were just, you know, available and open like this. It almost would seem like you needed to add them all, but you don't. So let's say finish adding credits. Click next. I keep seeing this pop up here, like want to chat with a tax pro. Wonder if that is this get expert help. So online assist or online assist plus tax pro review. Now the online assist is really for those who are having some technical difficulty. I don't think that is with a actual tax pro. So it looks like here, get unlimited tax tax chat in your own personal tax pro who can review, sign, and e-file your return for an additional 114. So there you go. I don't know if that would be worth the cost, but perhaps. All right, here's all your credits we know about. And then let's go into the next section here. Let's start in your taxes, payments, and penalties. Did everyone in your household have health insurance? What kind of insurance? Health insurance through an employer. All right. So here's all your taxes, payments, and penalties we know about. Everything's listed here. Let's click next. Wrap up your federal taxes. Let us know if any of these apply to you. So we've got payments, language preference, IP PIN, additional forms, miscellaneous. No thanks. And then wrap up. Let's start checking what you've entered. All right. So quick look. It says that the federal refund of 1265 is what they came up with based upon what I entered into the software. And then what it does is it copies all of that information over to the state return. And then this is obviously going to be state specific. There are state specific uh, tax credits or deductions that you might be able to take. I have my state set to California. And then you can go through those prompts and it's basically going to go through the exact same sections as what's in your federal return. So I really love how clean this is. This is very simple and easy to use. I actually think out of the ones that I've tested, H&R Block might personally be my favorite. <laughs> uh, I, we listed it as the runner up just because there are better integrations that TurboTax has. It actually syncs up with a lot of investing brokerage companies. So it, if that's you, then you might really enjoy TurboTax. But for me, honestly, I really like this interface the best. I think this one looks great. It's at a higher price point, but if you take advantage of that 20% discount that we have, I think this is definitely worth the money. And that's a look inside of H&R Block. So is H&R Block worth it? I mean, I think so. It is higher end, so you're gonna be paying more, but I found the software really easy to use. If you qualify for that free filing, then H&R Block is a no-brainer. If you just have that simple W-2, you wanna claim any student loan interest or that child tax credit, boom, that's your answer because the federal and the state is a big goose egg, zero dollars. But if you just end up in that deluxe tier, you might be better off with something like Tax Slayer Classic or Free Tax USA because they're going to give you better value for your 
for your money that gives you the exact same options that's inside of the H&R Block Deluxe tier. Don't forget we have all the latest walkthroughs and reviews of the tax software available in 2023 for you to file your 2022 tax returns listed at thecollegeinvestor.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up as it does help out other people who might be interested in H&R Block tax software and we'll catch you in the next one.